Welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things, deleting data. I don't know why, but I always get this satisfaction when I delete a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to express that satisfaction in excitement to teach you guys how to delete stuff. So it's very simple. All you do is say delete from and then say the table users. And then what we do is use the where clause immediately and we make some kind of condition to decide what rows we want to delete. Now, just like I mentioned, you're likely to get fired using the update statement. Well, you're doubly like to get fired with the delete statement, so be extra super careful. Here, we want to make sure it's something that's going to only delete what we want to delete and not delete everything. So if you just do this, well then, I hope you enjoyed your job. <laughs> so we need to make sure we have that where clause. So who do you want to delete? Hmm, yeah. He has some null data and that, that bothers me. So I'm gonna delete you, Dylan. I am going to delete you. So we'll just say user ID equals four. It ran successfully. So my thought is that he is deleted. So I'm gonna run this statement up here to select the data. And you can see he is gone. <laughs> That's what you get for having nulls in my beautiful null free table. You ruined it. Okay, let's do some other stuff. Let's make a where clause that's a little bit more complex. So let's insert some data, and this is gonna teach you guys something new. You can actually insert multiple rows at one time using this syntax. So let's insert that data. Just to make sure it's in there, we will select from the table. All right, there we go. And what I wanna do is delete everybody who does not have a verified email. So we say delete from users where, and then we say is verified equals false and you can see it ran successfully let's run the select statement just to make sure they got deleted and they're gone please be extremely careful for this there is no undo button <laughs> so you got to be very cautious <laughs> now if you remember what i mentioned in the previous video with this here the data manipulation language we have covered the big four pieces of data manipulation language so now you're basically a database pro go apply for tons of database jobs. <laughs> but if they ask you why you don't really know that much, don't tell them it was because you watched my videos. <laughs> this is literally just the basics. There's so much more, but this will get your feet wet, get you started. And now you kind of have a little bit of experience with all of the pieces. Now we're going to go back into some conceptual stuff for a while because now we know how to create tables, but we wanna make sure we create tables in the proper way. So we're going to get into database design, which is a pretty general topic. It applies to most database management systems. So once you learn it, you can apply it to all the other database systems out there that are relational. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for you right now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, click like, check the links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.